Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit since I did a video, but I have some good hauls for you. Today I'm going to be more so reviewing since I already opened it. My purchase from Via E doll friends. I have purchased two of her dolls before, Alexis and Tatiana, and I absolutely adore them. I would bring them down for this video, but right now they are packed inside a closet as some home renovations go on. But today I'm going to show you what I got. So first I'm going to start with some little doll care items. So first of all, how cute is this clear bag? And it comes with a little Via E charm. Little t-shirt. I think it's adorable. Great little summer bag. Right? So I brought this Doll Friend Vinyl Restoration Sponge. I thought it would be awesome since I like fixing up dolls and in case any of mine has shows, you know, fall on the floor and get scratched. So it says you can clean the area of warm soapy water and clean the sponge. Rub this sponge on scratch using a circular motion until the scratch is gone. And then apply their doll friend refreshing cream, which I also brought that. So I'm super excited to try this out. I do have a few dolls that could use a little buffing. So this is the refreshing, refreshing cream. It came in this little bag with the cute bow. I'm not sure like what it smells like. I'm gonna open that. But it says you can refresh your doll friend's vinyl skin, help them feel fresh and new. So you put a small dab on your hands, rub it together on your hands, and then distribute it on your doll friend by rubbing lightly. And only use a small amount to bring back the bring back the warmth and luster. And don't put it on the face. So let's see. It's good ribbon. Probably will have to reuse that. It's a sealed bag. like it has a covered top but it looks like some popped through during shipment oh yeah there's this little well, I thought it was a plastic tab inside that poked it but yeah there's a crack in it but oh it's kind of shiny reminds me of a seashell Ooh, smells good I can't place it but it's very fresh a nice lightly scented lotion from Bath and Body Works. But I'll just show you the part on top. See it's white. Not sure if you can see the shimmer. But it is nice. I can't wait to use that on my dolls. See how well it keeps how well it works. Really loving this bag. It's such a convenient size for your dolls to take stuff to the beach. Or for me to bring things to craft shows, like these repair items. Next in here was my, um, what, what is this called? I forgot. Oh, your invoice or your order receipt. And the owner of the company, Ellen, she handwrites a note, which is real cute. And it says, thanks for purchasing. And don't forget to go on the fan Facebook page. And today I purchased a Kiwani of the Potawatomi tribe and Melina Akimi who is a advanced production doll, so she is her Japanese doll who is coming out, I'm not sure, I'm thinking the end of this year, maybe into next year. So I, it's basically a pre-order, which is awesome because she discounts them a little bit, the pre-orders, because this is the first production, there could be problems to help, you know, with the cost of that. But I can't wait to show you Kawani, she is so beautiful. First, she has some little, like, it's almost like a folder. So this one's Melina's folder. I haven't opened it yet. I opened the one for Kiwani. And I ordered one of these Kiwani dolls for my TV. So she loved it. She called me all excited that she got a doll. So here's her catalog. I really like it. it. Has all the dolls in there and all the items she has. 
They're very cute. And she's won some awards with these dolls, so that's awesome. The Tillywig Award for Best Children's Products. And these are all the dolls she has out so far. I'm about to show you this one. And I have the top two. I wasn't too fond of the way this one's teeth looked, but I may end up getting her soon. You never know. I like to collect them. But Ellen likes to put all kinds of unique background stories. So she has, I believe Alexis is supposed to be the white doll, but I'm not sure. But she travels everywhere, and that's how she meets all these friends, the new characters. So Tatiana is, I believe, Oh, it's right here. Inca Indian and a Inca Indian and African, which her hair is beautiful. It's long and curly. You could braid it. And the other blonde doll is German, Portuguese, and then the one I'm going to show you is a Potawatomi, Potawatomi Native American Indian, which I believe oh, she puts. It's from Wisconsin, so in the Midwest for me. I'm on the East Coast. Anyway, not the cat. So we get caught up. So inside the portfolio was Kawani's book. She's really cute. I'll have to read that later. It's for fun. But it's all illustrated. Real big text, which is very appreciated. But very nice. What else was in here? Oh yeah, I think there are, she puts instructions too on how to care for your doll because these dolls are unique and I will show you why so soon. And I got a limited production certificate which is awesome. So the doll number I got was 146. So you get like an official certificate for your collector's case. You can display it. And I believe the cert this official certificate is for the Japanese doll is in the other portfolio. So I know, I'm keeping you all waiting. I'm actually giving myself anxiety by not showing the doll yet. <laughs> this one's from Melina, and I can't wait to get her because her little school outfit is so adorable. And she made this little kimono dress that I brought extra because I needed that. So this is Melina's. It doesn't have the doll picture yet because she's not, I'm not saying that she's not finalized. She has a doll, but she's still deciding on the meat hair style. So whether she'll come with like bangs, no bangs, bangs here, pieces, which I would like the bangs here and little pieces. Adorable. I got number 76, which is awesome. It's awesome about the advanced production is that you can get your name on the box if you want. So I decided to put my company name, but if that's not allowed, because I wasn't sure, I would like my name. I don't remember if I got my name on the Alexis box. I think I brought her during pre-production. She put some tissue paper and a cute little postcard from Kiwani. And it has a little Native American code on here. And then nice layer of bubbles. Good for me. And now for the best part, the doll. So she is 19 inches tall, if you're wondering. So a lot taller than the American girl on your other Asian dolls. But this is her box. She has a nice open front box design, so you can see her. Sorry, she's loose. I already opened her, so I was super excited. But here. The owner signs the boxes, the ones that are in like the trial production. So there's my number. On the back, it has her has a little description about the doll and their how they're unique and about her heritage. And then these are all the names of the people that brought her during her advanced production stage, which I didn't do. That is okay, because I still love her. Oh, my paper goods are falling on me. Okay, and then this side says meet Kawani, and it talks about her outfit, I believe, or what she likes to dress up, uh, and 
has face paint design for this person. QR code. So let me open her and tell you why these dolls are super unique and super cool. It's what sold me on the first Lexus doll. Oh, back when I was in high school, I learned about it at a craft show actually. A lady asked me, hey, have you heard of Via E dolls? You know, they're a brand new company and they're really pretty. So me being a doll addict, I had to go look it up. If I don't, I'll see. That was hmm, maybe eight years ago, a little less. But her hair, oh, everything about her I love. So she's 19 inches tall. She has, I believe, yes, fully rooted hair. Comes with a little meat braid. Oh, style. It's super soft. It's long, goes down to almost her knees. She comes dressed in this adorable outfit. I didn't even notice before, but the detail on the ribbon. It has a little, like, the depictions of eagles and birds that you find in Native American drawings. But I love the detail there. The owner does do a lot of extensive research to make sure that her outfits and other things are accurate. Oh, sorry. I think I might have gotten a few scratches on her legs from when I took her out. I was super excited. But it has this little denim belt. And the back, or it's an elastic top. So there's no Velcro in it. And the pants are just printed with an elastic waist all the way down to the knee. And she comes with moccasins that have the matching ribbon. The front, of course, and the back, which is really cute. So these dolls, not only are they 19 inches tall, but they come with French manicures. Let's see, can you see that? Little French manicure, little white tips. Very cute. She has them on her feet. Let me just take off a moccasin. It was really cool is that her toes are separated, the big toe from the rest, so she can wear flip-flops or some or sandals with the toe separator, which is awesome. And the main selling point of these dolls is that they can get wet. So unlike American Girl dolls, where I mean I guess you could get an American Girl doll wet, but you have to make sure you really dry them out. These are made for easy play. So they're jointed at their knee, hip, is it in, in the torso? No, the, an elbow. And if you submerge her in water, you just pull on the joints. Sorry, I'm trying to show, but the joints are kind of hard. Okay, I've got the arm. So if you submerge her in water, you pull on the joints here. It's kind of hard to show. Yeah, it comes apart a little bit. You can let the water drain out. And Via E sells a spray that you can spray inside. I think like every month or every so often you get them wet. So it helps kill the bacteria and viruses. Make sure it doesn't get moldy inside. And she has a whole care sheet on how to like care for the hair after it's get wet how to care for the head, because you can get her head wet. Just as long as you dry it thoroughly, her beautiful eyes won't rust you, they'll do on you. They are sleep eyes. Very pretty face paint, I love her skin color. I love how soft this is. Well, I'll show you the care sheet. It's in one of these, this one. Come back. It got stuck to my certificate. So, it's this nice sheet. Tells you how to care for them. Your doll doctor sheet. Doll decided. So, it says they can get wet and support play in water environments. But make sure that you do a lot of after water care so that your doll stays in good condition. So, you just remove a t you use a towel once they're out of the water to take out any external water. Then you blow the water out of the eyes by blowing hard like you're blowing out a candle. And then stand them up so that the water trapped inside can fall down. And then pull on the lower sections of the joint and then tip out the water. So it's, you stand them up, gravity will pull the water down and you pull on their limbs, the water should come out. But you do not wanna, you can submerge their head, but it's not recommended that you 
keep them down or you know make her believe she's a mermaid or something because it will loosen the, the eyelash glue so okay to be like oh let's go for a dive but not be like oh let's sleep, take a nap under the water because you don't want the water in the eyes to just sit there and start the rust process and then they sell a blow dryer adapter so that it can funnel the air into the limb and help get that water out which is awesome but you put it on cold of course because you don't want to heat up your plastic doll it has detailed instructions on what to do which is great and how to use the restoration sponge and the conditioning cream and then how to care for the hair and what to do and then doing doll friend yoga so how to care for the elastics during play which is awesome I love the thought and the detail that goes into doll care because American Girl doesn't really do that they give you that little thing on their hand that says how to care for your doll with wavy hair and your doll will come with super curly hair and it'll be like wavy or curl use a pick and that's it so it doesn't really teach anyone but I really appreciate the amount of time and effort she puts into this and the details is, I'll probably have to get her moccasin on later but really cute so I am very happy with my purchase she's so beautiful like wow now Kaya has another Native American friend I'm happy what to see she even <laughs> she comes a little like like she comes with a little belly button and I think she has a little butt too <laughs> doll butt but they're really beautiful really nice vinyl really just amazing worth the money in my opinion if you're a collector as a play doll yeah too I would just make sure you braid the hair before you get into extensive play because you don't want it to get all snaggy oh I didn't show you the inside of her box which she designs sometimes to be like inserts I think the Melina doll is going to be it can double as an insert but when she comes she is strapped in at the neck and feet here but she has um this actually comes out and i got another doll care product in there not care product care product sheet how to care for it. but you can fold it all out to play and it says some english words here and then how to pronounce it in the patawan uh, was patawan language Potawatomi. Don't want to butcher the name. Um, even with the pronunciations, I still don't feel comfortable saying it. Like it says, hi is going to say it in their language is pronounced how. And to say my name is Kawani, you put Kawani Nedejniku. I'm not sure what the little accents, how to pronounce the accent. But it's awesome because you can learn a little bit of a new language and get familiar with it. I love the introduction to the language and culture. But that is it for my Via E haul purchase review, whatever you want to call it. Super happy. Definitely check her out. I'm going to link her website down below and then I'll, I'll link the specific doll and the products I brought. But I highly recommend them. Their hair is also very forgiving. My Alexis doll, I, she gets tossed around a little bit, but it always comes back with some spritz of water and light brushing. If you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>